this is Pav Bamber here for PSB Sports and we also have with us Shane Watson here from PSB Sports as well. And on the line with us we are joined by the champ, the main man himself, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Shannon, how you doing brother? I'm good champ, how about yourself? We're doing good Ch champ, we're doing good. I believe Shane's got the first question for you champ. Um, Shannon, we've um, heard a lot from you recently and we've heard a new outburst that's come from you. You've called out Tyson Fury. What was the reason for that call out and are you in negotiations? Yeah. Go, all good, thanks. All good. Right, brother. Nice to hear from you again, champ. Well, you know what it is? What, what happened was, Shane, about two weeks ago, uh, Tyson had put out, uh, maybe a week ago, he put out a text saying that he wanted to fight again. He should be allowed, you know, the opportunity to fight. Man, some of us like, you know what? He's a great lad. He's a great fight for me and him. I need to come back fight. Coming off my suspension. I'm like, you know what? It'd be a great fight. So I first I I I left it to him on Twitter privately and say, Champ, give me a call. I think we got something we can do together. You know, it'd be a great fight for both of us. Uh he didn't reply. So then I had to go to the Let's Go Champ Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> um Shannon right. I had to go to the taxi. Shannon, I mean right now obviously we have Joshua's tied up, he's gonna fight Pulev and obviously you know, Shannon, Deontay Wilder is actually looking for a fight right now after Luis Ortiz failed his drug test. So, will you be willing to jump in with Deontay Wilder for a fight in November, uh, Shannon? Well, I won't be off the station until the 14th. I get off the station November 14th. If they want to push the fight back a month or two, I'll gladly step in and knock him out. He's nothing. He's, a, he's nothing. His name is Deontay Wilder. Nothing, okay? Trust me. He didn't want to fight me. He turned down two fifty pound fight me. You know what I'm saying? A few years ago, he's nothing. I'll knock him out. Trust me. Listen, they doing the best they can to keep him away from me. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, right now I, I won't be up to the until the fourteenth. After that, I'll be right back in action, ready to go. Nothing stopping me. Nothing stopping me from becoming the heavyweight champion in the world for the third time. And the only man to do it in three different decades. Let's go, champ. Also, we know recently. Um you were saying there was talks and it was very close to being done a fight with you and Povetkin in Russia. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about what's happened there? He chickened out. Povetkin chickened out. That's the bottom line. <laughs> He's a chicken. He's a chicken, all right? He's a chicken. He backed out. He didn't want to fight me. He basically, he didn't even, he didn't back out. He didn't want to fight me. It was like, no champ, no. Chill, champ, chill. Chill, champ, chill. That's exactly what they say. We don't want to fight you, champ. So for the most part, a lot of people who me, they don't want to fight me. But I'll be right back. November 14th, I'm on suspension. Hopefully I'll be free soon in London. I'd like my first fight come back to be in England. I'm big New York Hall. I'm taking a great opponent. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking you know, come back, go fight in Ireland. Go over there and knock out, uh, what's his name? Martin Rogan. Then I'm thinking of going over to Scotland and knock that out another pie. So I'm going to go on a pie tour. And so I wanted to end. I wanted to start right in England. You know what I'm saying? Right in London. That's that goal right now. And I'm working on that right now. Let's go, champ. I'm self-promoting. I don't have no promoters. The people promote me. I'm out here promoting. The people promote me. The people make me who I am. The people support it, champ. Shannon, as well, recently, David Hay and Tony Bow, you two was announced a rematch. How do you see that rematch going, Shannon? And do you want the winner there, whoever wins? I don't know why they fight again. <laughs> I don't even know why they fight me, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I think the winner, but they don't want to fight me, man. They made it clear. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bello could have called me out after he, after he knocked out Hay. He could, uh, after he beat Hay, Bello could have said, you know what? Uh, you know what, Shannon Brent? Hay ran from you. Uh, but I'm not. Step up. I would have gladly came back to England. I would have shut him down. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to fight me. They were talking about playing Joshua and everybody else. At the time, I was going after the, the title. Unfortunately, you know, as we all know, I had to get, I took an extension for testosterone and marijuana, okay? With that being said, uh, you know, I'm back off, I'm back, I'm back too, but again, what's his name? Uh, it's Bello, Smello. Smello could have fought me, and it would have been a real simple. I mean, he hey, he just called me out. He didn't want to fight me, you feel me? So, now here we are. If he beats him, man, that, they don't want to fight me, champ. 
And also, it wasn't too long ago, Vladimir Klitschko announced his retirement from boxing. What's your thoughts on that? Good for him. <laughs> Let's go, champ! Also, are you going to be in the UK anytime soon? I'm hoping to be over real soon, champ. I'm looking forward to coming back to the UK. I miss it. It's my second home. Great people. Great boxing fans. Amazing, champ. So I'm looking forward to being back. Hopefully, I can come home with my family next time. And, you know, maybe we're going to buy a house over there. Take <laughs> Shannon, as well, you know, being an being a very experienced fighter in the heavyweight game, Shannon. A lot, if you look at a lot of the champions now, they're all young, um, they're youthful, they're hungry. With Parker, Josh, and Wilder. So, with you being the more experienced individual, Shannon, what advantage do you believe that gives you over these other champions now? You created it right on the head, champ. That 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 experience. I've been there. Um, you know, I'm not afraid of anybody. I've been there with people like Vanessa, Denise Lewis, Ray Mercer, Fran Bosa, Vitaly uh, Klitschko, George Foreman. You know what I'm saying? I've been in it with the best of them. So, you know, for me, uh, I have that coming in, going in, experience. And I, I feel great and positive. I feel great about my chances with anybody. Um, you know, I'm just ready to come back, man. I want to come back, like I said. I want to do a UK tour. I want to do a Europe tour. I want to fight in London, Ireland, and Scotland. And that's the goal right now, to come back, you know what I'm saying, shock the world, become heavyweight champion for the third time, and, you know, spread positivity to the people, champ, that's it. Make them laugh, make them smile, and come back to the sport we love, which is boxing. Also, just to round off the phone call, we know recently you spoke about how much, oh no, we know recently uh, boxers have gone over to MMA. Is that something you're interested in? Not at all, champ. You know what I'm saying? I can't wrestle. <laughs> I went over to K1 and it wasn't even calling me. I'm not gonna do that, Sam. I tried that already. I went to K1 and I fought K1. I wanted to fight, but it was vicious, so I'm not gonna do that again. But I would fight Brock Lesnar if he was to uh, come to come to uh, boxing. I would do that. Okay, well, thanks so much to PSP Sports Today, Shannon. Hopefully, we'll catch up with you again in the future. Thanks, so much, Shannon. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much, guys. I appreciate you guys. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Thank you.